Do you struggle with feeling like everything in your world is contaminated? We're going to talk all about it. Stay tuned. That's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a therapist and I make videos for people with anxiety or OCD. And today I want to talk to you all about contamination because a lot of people struggle with this. Before I get started though, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified every time I make a new video, which is every Thursday. So let's talk about contamination. A lot of times people think of contamination OCD and they think of germs and they think of being afraid of sickness. And so they're like, yeah, I don't have that. But I want you to understand that contamination is anything that OCD wants you to believe is contaminated. And so that can be literally anything. So I want to focus in this video on how do you deal with that? Because even though you might feel like germs are contaminated, somebody else might think that dust is contaminated, or somebody else might think that their thoughts are contaminated. Uh, somebody else might think that bodily fluid is contamination. Somebody else might think that something that looks gross is contaminated. And yet we might have another person who thinks that cleaning material and cleaning supplies are contaminated. It doesn't matter. The idea is that whatever your OCD believes is contaminated, is disgusting, is dangerous, whatever it is for you, that you need to avoid it at all costs. And that is where you all have the same thing in common. The common denominator with OCD, with contamination OCD, is that you want to avoid this thing. The cause, it doesn't matter. It's just that I think that this is something that's going to be something that's going to trigger my OCD, so I want to avoid it. And my compulsions might be to wash my hands over and over so that I don't have that contaminated stuff on my hands. It might be to wipe my stuff so that that contamination, that invisible contamination is gone. Um, but the biggest food for OCD related to contamination is avoidance. As long as I avoid and I keep track of what is contaminated in my world, <sighs> I will be safe. But that, is an OCD lie. And we know about OCD lies because I made a whole video on that, right? And OCD lies dig you in a hole that you won't be able to get out of. So the common theme with contamination OCD is that things go red, right? So green things are things that you can touch, things that are not contaminated. And red things in my world, because I'm a visual person, are the things that are off limits. Now, some things might be bright red and some things might be pink, some things might be a little bit red, but your OCD brain is keeping track. And so you're watching everything in your house and you're like, that's red, that's red. Oop, that touched something red. Now that's red. The doorknobs are red. That, that thing in my mom's room is red. Oh, that thing near my mom touched that. Now that's red, right? The problem is OCD wants to make your entire world red. It wants to make your entire world contaminated. And the more you play OCD's game by OCD's rules, the more red your world will get. And I have watched people's worlds go smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until just their bed is green and they can't move from their bed because everything else is a sea of red contamination. We don't want that. So how do you get out of this sea of red? Well, it may seem too overwhelming to touch something that is contaminated or what I'm calling red. Pick your color, it doesn't matter, right? But you wanna take baby steps. And so you want to start realizing that the more you're tracking things and the more you're avoiding things and you're adding things to your red list, the worse it's gonna get. So the first step I would suggest is get out a piece of paper, pause this video, or write down after you're done with this video, all the things in your house or in your world that are red and then rank them one to 10, right? 10 being like, that's a, that's a 10 plus. That is so red. That is the center of the universe in the red world. And so I would never touch that, right? So that might be a 10 plus. And then you might have something that's kind of like loosely associated with things. And that might be like a four or a five. So rank them. And then you want to kind of go through this exposure ladder, this hierarchy where you are touching one little small thing at a time. Now, if your OCD is like, nope, we're not touching anything that's red. There's no way. That's okay, right? We want to calm your OCD down. 
but you want to find an entry point. You want to start somewhere because if you continue down the path that you've been going, where you're keeping track of everything that is contaminated, I guarantee you that OCD will win. OCD will have an entire world of contamination and your world will get smaller and smaller and it will contaminate things that you love. It will contaminate people you love, pets that you love, hobbies that you love, favorite clothes, favorite objects, instruments, Xbox, PlayStation, your phone, right? It will attack the things you love. And so if it's not there yet, it's coming. And how do you stop that train wreck? First of all, you don't make anything new red, right? So you look at that list and you say, if that is not on my list, I'm not making that red. I don't care what you want, OCD, you're not doing that. Secondly, I'm gonna go through my list. I might pick the smallest little thing. And even if that is too big, we can outsmart OCD and we can say, okay, well, look, here's a tissue. So let's say my ring is red. I love my ring. It says you are enough. It's very nice. It's motivating. But let's just say it's red, right? Maybe um, somebody disgusting touched it or maybe I had a bad thought when I was wearing it. It doesn't matter. It turned red, right? And so now I can't touch this. It's too red for me. But can I take this tissue and can the tissue touch this? And now this tissue has a little bit of red on it, a little bit of contamination. Can I touch can I touch this tissue? No, too much. So you want to take the tissue that touched the other tissue that touched the ring and start with that. And if that's too hard, then maybe you just take your pinky and you touch this. The key is to start with something wherever you're able to start and then build up from there slowly. Now, as you progress, can I take this tissue that touched the other tissue that touched the ring? And can I touch other things around the house? Can I make this green? Can I make other things green? And I'm gonna build up from there. The key is, I'm not gonna wash my hands, I'm not gonna shower, I'm not gonna do any compulsion that is gonna undo the contamination that I'm spreading. This is how we get back at OCD. We beat it at its own game. We start to contaminate things with the red objects over time in small little increments so that we're turning things back to green. It takes time, it takes patience, and it takes one small step at a time. But when I take one thing that was red and I wipe it around my room, and then I take another thing that's red and I wipe it around my room over time, maybe days, maybe weeks, maybe months, maybe a year or two, but I'm building and I'm building momentum and I'm building speed and I'm trying to not grow my red list, I'm not adding things to my red list, you will make progress and you will be in charge not your OCD. So take a small step today, make that list. That is a step in the right direction. And then be brave, jump off that cliff and watch your parachute come out of your back and glide you down because it will. Well, I hope you find the sparkle in everything you do and I'll be back again next Thursday. Take care.